Here we are. Okay, welcome back. We're gonna play another couple days of this. Um, I know you've all anxiously been looking forward to this as much as... Oh my goodness. I've recharged the batteries in this controller a million times, and yet a million plus one, they don't want to work. Well, we're going to perform another last minute substitution. Pop out the battery from my mouse. Plug it into the controller. I'm getting better at this exercise. Uh, yeah. Well, the good news is that this game um, gives you only so much time per day. So, we're going to see. Um, I'm going to succeed at this pretty soon. Crazy bet. What? Oh. Wait, must think of crazy bet. 25 perfect combo, but burgers and pasta must be in the active menu. That seems too easy. That's got to be some kind of trap. Whatever, we're going to fall for it because we're going to entertain you guys. Um, let me just make sure that my menu contains the two things that we just talked about, which were burgers and pasta. Um, there's burgers. Oh, shiza. I don't have pasta. I was thinking lasagna is pasta. Oh no, <laughs> I've lost the bet. I have lost the bet. Oh man, that's fantastic. That'll show me to be confident. Yeah, I can't afford to add pasta onto my menu. All right, can I undo that? There's a save and quit button. Uh, whatever. We just lost 300 bucks because I can't read. That's okay. It'll all work out in the end anyhow. You can only see a black screen. Oh, excellent. This gives me justification to suddenly, abruptly close the game uh, without any warning to the application. Uh, so, let's see. Okay, um, we'll capture the window. Uh, that's not capturing the window. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a window capture. That's not a monitor capture. All right, I gotta add in the display capture because Apparently OBS 15 broke everything. I hate using this capture because it looks extremely hokey. Uh, so I put that at the bottom of the list. And uh, if I go back... Yeah, I guess I'm electing not to abort the game after all. So here we go. This guy wants coffee, creamer... I guess the only positive side is you guys didn't get to see me accept that bet. Um, so you'll never know just what a bad bet it was. I was just helping out Crazy Dave for all the times he's helped me. Okay. Uh, meat and cheese. This person wants the cheap wine. We've got plenty of it. Yeah, you heard it, but maybe I didn't describe it right. You ever think about that? Yeah. Well, we'll just leave that at that. Uh, I have to support Crazy Dave's gambling habits if he's going to support me. Two vanilla scoops and a cherry. Mm -hmm. 
lettuce, tomato, pickle, and onion. does take some dexterity. Meat and lettuce only. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. Lettuce, bacon, cheese, and tomato. Oh crud, I might not get to clean the bathroom. Oh, never mind. I got to it. It's important to get to these issues before the customers notice. But I managed. Believe it or not, customers don't like their food burned. I know it seems like a really hard concept, but um, they're pretty picky about that. I can't imagine why. About half of the earnings I made today are going to Crazy Dave. The guy who made that crazy bet with me. He regularly bets, and most of the time I win because I avoid uh, his more difficult bets. And I take all the easy ones. Uh, cheese wine. Is that... An... Uh, I think the game is just making fun when it says there's a thing called a cheese wine. Surely such a thing would be disgusting. And so they're probably just making fun of the fact that um, wines have funny names. Or really sophisticated names. And uh, for who knows what reason. Also, customers don't like uncooked food. So don't serve them raw chicken. I know it's tempting to just say, here you go, here's your chicken. Um, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Oops, that was seven. So far, I've succeeded in never serving the wrong wine. Um, but you know that one of these days, I'm accidentally going to serve them the wrong thing. It's going to be ridiculously more expensive than what they asked for. Cheese wine is real. Yeah, zero out of five stars. But I, I suspect if this guy requested the cheap wine and I gave him like the super expensive one and charged him the cheap rate, the game should just dock my pay for that. Or rather, my income, which the game assumes to be the same as my pay, or however that works out. There we go. 
So I made 40 bucks in tips. Oh, 802 on the day. Nice. New star awarded. See, told you this wouldn't take long. We've remodeled your restaurant once again, and the fine folks at Iron Cook Studio would like to extend their invitation to you to appear on their popular TV show. Oh, wait. Really? Oh my god. Um, well, I'm gonna get crushed. Survive five waves of food. Uh, okay. This is gonna suck. Two chocolate with sprinkles, two vanilla and a cherry, a medium tea with ice. Large cola, no ice. Small tea with ice. Medium tea with ice. Alright. One strike. Okay, I survived. That was five waves. I have twelve hundred, as well as two mysterious golden tickets. All right. Way to go, me. So that's the diner challenge, which somehow I passed. Um, yeah, once you pass these challenges, you can't go back to them. I think it's likewise if you fail them, I assume you can't go back either. Then listen. Oh. Thank you, Dave. That was really nice. All right, I want you to Iron Cook Studios. Okay, yeah, thanks for the invite. Totally overhaul the restaurant. Oh, so that's, you see the decor in the background, all that orange stuff, and the fact that I've got like this real table counter in front of me. Um, I've got a real restaurant now. Watch out for new opportunities, keep up the good work. You got a new, oh, we got, now we're able to support how many customers? I don't remember. Specialty foods? Uh, silver ticket purchases, and I need to rotate my menu. But most importantly, I've got a lot of food. Um, oh, surprisingly, fried chicken's still available. Um, steak. What are all the pros and cons? Oh, pros are like people tend to tip a lot with this. Eventually, this is going to be upgradable, if not already. Let's see, what can we upgrade? Yeah, let's get another wine bottle in there. Uh, just to make things confusing. The elk wine. 40 bucks. Uh, it's still a really expensive upgrade. American cheese can't be beef. There's nothing quite like a slice. There's just Swiss cheese to complement the burger. Okay. Sure. Yeah, let's take that challenge. Um, 
Because I'm feeling crazy, I'll upgrade my ice cream on my menu. And, um, sure, why not? Let's, wait, I don't have french fries on my menu anyhow. Um, okay. Uh, dot, dot, dot. I should probably also bother to upgrade... Oh, what was it? Enhance my security. Yeah, let's... Just in case. And start a new day. One last day. And then we'll get to seeing some chess, I suppose. Oh, did not mention as part of that announcement that customers were going to be more patient or anything, so... I assume that customers are going to be just as impatient as ever. Uh, one chocolate, two mint chocolate, and all the toppings. Alright. We're on a roll already, maybe. That seventh customer slot is going to be havoc. Now, I know they call these food preparation counter slots, but... Um, let's be real, uh, during the rush hour I'm going to be expected to prepare seven dishes at once. I do like the nice view I've got outside my window and um, the fact that I've got a window that looks nice. Um, although that looks like a really strange sort of blind there. Two times meat, bacon, lettuce, cheese, tomato. Dish number five. Meat only, that's nice. Fuck, wrong dish, wrong wine bottle. Ah, these wine snobs are really picky. Lettuce, bacon, cheese, tomatoes. Meat, cheese, and Swiss cheese. I think that's what you ordered. I wasn't really reading carefully, but hopefully it's what you asked for. Fuck. Oh, nice, I got it. Two vanilla scoops and nuts. Yeah, we're pretending for fun. Can you imagine actually having to do this? Uh, second time today I picked the wrong bottle. I don't have any choice in the matter once I picked it though. I can't just like stick it back on the shelf and say, wait a second, I'm gonna give you the other one instead. At least I've not messed this one up. There you go, you got the one you asked for. You gotta ask for the expensive one. Like, not just the intermediate level, you gotta... Eh, yeah, whatever. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I mean, this is just a game. The worst consequences. And this is just that you don't score as many points or whatever. In real life, it's uh, a much more challenging world.
There we go. I did not get my A and B buttons mixed up. And again, I hit the A button correctly. Go me. Alright. Meat and onions only. <sighs> Lettuce, bacon, cheese, tomato. Oops, that didn't get cooked. I wish these customers were just a bit more patient, but I suppose that defeats the point of the game. I forgot to season that. Can I add seasoning after it's cooked? I hit that button four times, and I hit it once more. Oh. It's, I, I mean, it simulates the idea of just being disorienting, which is a unique experience in itself. All right. Well, that's our new restaurant. I got 49 bucks in tips somehow, which is about as much as I earned in tips at the last place, except this time I made more mistakes. So, yeah. Also, despite completely, or despite flubbing three orders, not completely flubbing them, but but doing poorly. Um, I've only got one and a half percent negative buzz. Not entirely sure why they use the word buzz, but it's supposed to mean how popular your joint is. Um, so I've got generally positive reviews, some really negative reviews, but that aspect of the game doesn't seem punishing. So you can make mistakes and uh, still recover from it. Anyhow, that panicking feeling, uh, it's, it's a unique and fun experience. Let's go read through our messages, see what we got. Uh, okay, oh, we gotta pass some more iron cook challenges and safety inspections to reach the next level. Wine upgrade available. Menu rot's occurring, and we may or may not have a date next time. Until then, uh, it's been fun. We finally unlocked our three-star restaurant, and we know what it looks like. Um, I wonder, can I get, like, just a shot of the restaurant? No. The art gallery's still locked. Um, bummer. Well, so, uh, there's our statistics. We've served a lot of food. 3,050 customers served. I wish this would keep track. Oh, that's cool. I was going to say, I wish I could keep track of just how many times I blew it. Um, and on what particular recipes I've had the most trouble, and during what times of day. That'd be a fun little extension. At least in my opinion, that for this game, that would seem like an interesting thing to track. Anyhow, um, I'm going to break here, and I'll see you around. Let's go 